नमस्ते दिस इज गणेश राउत अनिल स्टीचर स्टैंडिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू रे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू ग्रामर दिस इज फॉर क्लास सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन एंड टेन टू बाय द सेम टोकन आई एम क्वाइट थैंकफुल टू एन पर्सन एंड इट्स मेंबर्स who have organized this virtual process no and today on the grammar i will start narration narration what does narration mean and i will start my plus it, it's question with the question what does narration mean what is narration what is meant by it if you talk about what does narration means it means nepali kathan kathan banai therefore we can say narration means a speech of the speaker whatever is spoken by the speaker that's narration whatever the words which are used by the speaker that's the narration my dear students i will give you one example here see the example is given here hari said to me I am reading now. In this sentence, who is the speaker? Ram. Hari is very clear. What is the speaker here? What is spoken by him? I am reading now. This is speech. This is narration. The same speech can be said in another way too. Hari told me that he was reading them. This is also the speech, but has been said a bit differently only. So these both are termed as speech, narration, because these both are spoken by the speaker here. <coughs> so this is speech. This speech can be narrated in two ways. If I narrate, Hari is just the speaker here. If I have to narrate his speech, I will narrate in two ways. My two ways are called narrators. First, I will narrate in his own words, in his actual words. If I narrate in his own words. directly we call it direct narration example is here he said to her i will meet you tomorrow see this is the speech spoken by the speaker he i have quoted his words inside a pair of inverted commas these are his actual words i haven't added any words over there These are the actual words. Second, I have kept the speech of this speaker within a pair of inverted commas. See. Third, I haven't changed any words anywhere of this speaker. My dear students, you must remember these three points while talking about the written narration. Actual words of the speaker, original words of the speaker. in retail commas and no change anywhere therefore in conclusion it can be said the act of direct narration means the act of narrating the original words of the speaker within a pair of inverted commas without changing anything anywhere that's the direct narration 
You are not allowed to change anything while you narrating direct narration. Whereas, just opposite of it, let's see in indirect narration. Let's see, same example has been converted here. He told her that he was, he would meet her the next day. This were not the actual words of the speaker. The words have been changed here, huh? but the entire meaning is not changed. This is the same. Substance is the same. Central idea is the same. You cannot change the central idea. You can change person, tense, everything else, but you cannot change the entire meaning of the sentence. Second, no inverted commas. See, we have omitted the inverted commas in this class, and there are several changes. See, this I has become he here. This will has become would here. Now has become the next day here. Changes are there. Yes, if we narrate in this way. I mean, the act of narrating, the original words, sorry, the act of narrating only the gist of the speaker, without using inverted commas, with several changes, that's called indirect narration. While talking about a change from direct to indirect narration, my dear students, you must know the composition of direct narration. Without its composition, it will be difficult for you to understand, perhaps. So, next, I am going to talk you. I am going to talk here the composition of direct narration. I will show you on the board to here. I will write the same sentence here. Ramesh. Said to me, comma, inverted comma, I have finished my work. See, this is direct narration. This direct narration is made of, of two clauses. One is this one, which is outside of inverted commas, and another one is this one, including this kind. There are two clauses. This one is called reporting clause. This is the backbone of narration. If you don't know what is reporting clause, what is reported clause, you will fail to understand narration later on. Therefore, I would like to request you to have your full concentration over here, please. This is reporting clause. This is reporting clause. Whereas, this is called reported clause. Reported clause. Yes. Second, it's Ramis. Who is Ramis? Ramesh is the speaker. Ramesh is the speaker here. Who is me here? The listener. Listener. Similarly, the verb of reporting class is called reporting verb. Yes. These are the terms which are frequently used in narration by changing from direct to indirect. My dear students, after this I will compare direct narration and indirect narration. Let us see the comparison. I will write these two here on the board. But I will he said 
टू हर कॉमा इनवर्टेड कॉमा आई विल मीट यू टुमारो नाउ आई विल चेंज दिस इनटू इनडायरेक्ट स्पीच अल्लाह आई हैव टॉट यू हाउ टू चेंज फ्रॉम डायरेक्ट टू इनडायरेक्ट बट आई चेंज हियर दिस शुड हेल्प यू सी ही सेट टू बिकम स्टोल्ड दिस इज द रूल व्हिच यू विल गेट लेटर ऑन वाइल टॉकिंग अबाउट स्पेशल रूल्स फॉर टाइम ही सेट टू बिकम स्टोल्ड हियर एंड मी टेल्ड हर वी यूज दैट एज अ कलेक्टिव हियर why that because this is a sub sentence i will again talk about it later on next i it becomes he will becomes would i am not explaining you or you here i am just writing the answer here i will compare meet you becomes Her tomorrow becomes the next day. Next day, see, it's given here too. He said to her, "I will meet you tomorrow." He told her that he will meet her the next day. Now let's compare. This said to has been changed into told here. Why? We will talk. I will talk. I will discuss. These inverted commas have been converted into that. They are omitted in place of that. That is used there. Why? Do you? Know? Again, I will clear you. This I has been changed into he here. Why? Will into would, and tomorrow into next day. My dear students, if we analyze the differences between direct and indirect narration, we come to the conclusion. What's the conclusion? Two sorts of changes have taken place. Two broad changes have taken place. Two broad changes, wide changes. One, general change. Another special change. What is general change here? This I has been changed into he. This person change. I is the first person. This has been changed into he. This denotes person change. This will has been changed into would. This denotes tense change. This tomorrow has been changed into the next day. This denotes adverbial change. These changes come under general changes, general rules we call. Whereas this said to has been changed to it. In what is commas are omitted in place of that we have used that. These two come under special changes, special rules. Yes. So now I will talk on general changes, general rules here. My dear students, be very clear. I am not making rules here. You will make the rules by seeing the examples here. After seeing the examples, you will make the rules. I will give you just examples, and we will we'll conclude the rules there. We will make the rules ourselves there. So first, general rules. General rules. I have already told you. We will talk about person change, tense change, and adverbial change. I have given here general rules. Person change. Tense change, adverbial change, and the move I have added. Vocative, case, or parenthesis change. Although it's not here, I'll talk about that too. Now, person change. What is person change? How does person change take place? What's the procedure? What's the methodology there? How do you change person? How is how has this pers person changed to third person? Is there any rule? Is there any technique? You must learn that. 
But before to talk about personal change, my dear students, you must do the case chart. This is important to me. Let's see here. I'm just explaining this chart here. This is the case chart. First person, I and we. These two come under first person. And you will see their objective case and possessive case too. That's it. I used as a singular. Its objective case is me and possessive case is a two types here. Again. We call it possessive one, that's also known as possessive adjective. Second, possessive two, that's also termed as possessive pronoun. So, I, me, my, mine. This is to be understood. My dear students, we plural, us, our, ours, you, you is suppose both as singular and plural. So, the same form that here, you, your, yours, third person, he, singular, him, his, his, third person, singular or female, she, her, her, hers. Third person for neutral gender. It, it, its, its two. They, plural. Third person plural. Then, their, and theirs. After this, we have a formula here. Formula of person change. The formula is, it's dear to, I will write here to here. 123 divided sum. This is very important for our percentage. Must do this. What does this first, second and third refer to here? First, second and third means person. Person. First person, second person, third person. Whereas, yes means subject. O means object. Yan means no change. My dear students, is person first, second, and third? They are concerned to reported clause. First person of reported clause. This is how we should understand. Second person of reported clause. Third person of reported clause. This is how we should understand over here. Reported clause. Reported clause. Whereas this yes subject, observe, and no change. They are concerned to reporting clause. Reporting clause. Reporting clause. Then we have a formula. First of all, First person of reported class. It's given here to see here. Arrow is given here. What does this arrow signify? First person of reported class. It changed according to the subject of reported class. This is what this arrow mean here. See this. Second person of reported class. It changed according to the object. Whereas, if you have any third person using reported clause, that's not change. I'll give you an example. Let's see over here. He says to me, I will do it for you and your friends. Guys, my dear students, he says to become stills. Says to become told, whereas, says to become stills. Remember this. By the way, I will come, I will discuss about it again later on, under special rules. Says to, becomes tells, that this is an assertive sentence, that is used. Now see person says, I, which person is this? First person. See the other body, I first person. 
I first person. How is this first person says according to subject of reporting? For the subject here, he, he, I, he, I is changed according to he. But how will it change? I mean, first person is changed according to the speaker. Speaker. Speaker is he here. Yes, let's see now. I, which person? Sorry, which case? Subjective case. And he? Subjective case. See here. Both are in the same column. Case matched. By the students, if case is matched, it becomes quite easier for you. We have to match the case. If case is already matched, it is quite easier for you. You will copy the same here. If, if the case gets matched in a see subjective case, subjective case. This is next. So he will copy the same over here. Second, we will not change the tense here because this is reporting clause this is in super present tense. We will remain same. It which person is it? Third person. Third person. Third person third change. We will add the same over here. See it. For you, you second person. See here, you second person. But which case is this objective case? You is an objective case over here. You is an objective case over here. So this object, second person is changed according to object. See all what object here? Me. What is the object here? Me. Yes. This is also an objective case. This is also an object, objective case. Again, case matched. Case matched. The work is done. We will copy the same over here. Me. Again. Now let's see. And your friends. Your, your. Second person. How is this changed? According to object. And this is possessive one. And this is only objective. Case is not matched here. My dear students, if case does not match, we have to match. Case mil de How to match the case? See, this is possessive one. No? So what is the possessive one of me? Let's see on the board here. What is the possessive one of me? My. So we write my here. See, my. My friend. I will write one more example here on the board. Ram says to me, to her, I will do it for you. Okay, okay. What is this says to change into? Tells. Ram tells her. We'll omit this in what I come write that. Because this is a second sentence. I first person, let's see again. First person subjective is. See on the board here. Show the chart over here. First person subject is I. This is to be changed according to subject. What is the subject here? Ram. And what is the pronoun for Ram? He. So we write he here. No change in tense because this is simple present tense. He will do. This is third person, no change. For. Second person according to object. What is the object here? Her. Which case is this? Is it subjective or objective? Listen, this you has both subjective and objective, same form in both subject and objective here. So how will you understand? This is an objective or subjective case? Very simple technique is there. If the, this pronoun is used after verb, that's a subjective case. If it is used before verb, that becomes subjective case. I like you, use the objective case. You like me, use the subject case here. 
So this is an objective case. And this is also an objective case. Case matched. Case matched that will copy the same one here. See here. This is how person change takes place. One more example is here, guys. He says to her, mine is yours and yours are mine. See, this is very interesting. Mine is yours and yours are mine. Says to becomes tells. Uh, by omitting in what accounts we use that. Let's see here. Mine. First person. How is this first person changed? According to subject. What is the subject here? He. Mine. Which case is this here? Mine. Possessive to. Possessive pronoun. And what is the possessive pronoun of he? See here. He. He is possessive pronoun. He is. So what do we have? His. His. His is. Now you are second person going to object. What is the object here? Her. Is again possessive to. What is the possessive to of her? Hers. So his is hers. And again your second, your second person going to object. What is the possessive second of her? Hers. Hers. Is my first person going to subject. What is the possessive second of he? His. Hers is his. This is how personal change takes place. My dear students, you know, English is a very crazy language. Somewhere we make the rules, and uh, somewhere we break the rules too. This rule doesn't apply everywhere. Let's see where. That's why I have kept this under note, note number one. Again, I will give example first. You will make the rules. You will make the rules. Let's see the example here. Ram says to me, I will tell my story to you and your friends myself. I am focusing on self case. Self. You know the changes of I, you, I, my, you, your. So my focus is on self here. By the way. Says to becomes tells. That, because this is a service sentence. I, first person, equals to subject, or the pronoun for her, he, he. No change in tense, because this is simple person tense. We, tell, my first person, equals to subject, or the possessive one of her, his, his story. Two, you second person, equals to object. It's an objective case. This is also an objective case. Yes, matched, we'll copy the same over here, me. Your, second person, equals to object. But this is possessive one. What is the possessive one of me, my. My friends, friends, spicy. Let's see here. My first person according to subject. First person according to subject. And what's the pronoun for him? He. And what's the possessive one of he? Let's see here. What's the possessive one of he? He, him, his. Possessive one of he is his. So what should be here? His self. His self. No. This is how, this is why I told you, English is a crazy language. You can't use self after possessive one in third person. Self and selves, self singular, self plural. Self and selves are used after possessive only in first and second person. Not in third person. In third person, Self and self are used after objective case. Himself, herself, itself, themselves. So, we can't write here his self. We must write himself. Because self is not used after possessive one in third person. Whereas, same self and self are used after possessive one. Possessive adjective in first and second person. But that not in third person. So what's the rule for you? This is the rule. You have made this rule by seeing this example. Now I'll give you another example here under note number two here. See, our social teachers say we are mortal. Social, there is no object, no object. If there is no object, we will copy the same here. Say it, say it. Same. Say it. Said, this is an assertive, so that. 
Now see we. What is this we? Which person? Let's come to chart here again. We first person, subjective place. How is the first person changed? According to subject. What is the subject here? Our social teacher. What's the pronoun for him? He. What's the pronoun of he? They. So what should be here? They. According to the rule, there should be they. This is what has been taught you here. But that becomes wrong again. Because we, we, we cannot change this we into they here. Because we means to, it doesn't refer to a few people. We means all the mankind. All humanity. So we, I am keeping inside Mahade Kappa, we is used in broad sense. Wide sense. Denotes humanity, mankind. If it denotes mankind, we can't just change we into the air. We remain the same here. See, we remain the same. And second, this is universal truth. <coughs> not changing things to. We are not aware. So, this is all about personal change. 